Hi guys, welcome back to Simply Char. Um, today we're doing another What I Eat in a Day. I'm super, super excited to take you guys with me around town, I guess, while I run errands. Um, I'm not going to be out that long. I think I'm just going to Trader Joe's, but I might stop and get me a press juice as well, but I'm not 100%, so you guys will see if I do. But yeah, I want to show you guys new stuff I'm cooking for my website. Um, little bits, little things, you know, cause since I haven't been on YouTube in a minute, I'm so sorry. I just been focusing on my website simplyshar.com a little bit more but i am back guys i am back anyways let's go guys look who's on my tv this queen guys she's having my nephew in like a week can you believe it i'm just saying right <laughs> i'm about to be on i'm pretty sure i'm on the animal Okay guys, I just came back from Trejo and I wanted to show you guys what I got. So I got some spring mix. Um, this is just organic spring mix with lettuce and greens. It's just kale with spinach and arugula. I got a loaf of sourdough bread because sourdough is the only bread that don't irritate me when it comes to gluten. It's really, really weird. Um, if I eat too much gluten, it irritates me. If I eat like small amounts, it won't. Um, Follow Your Heart sent me the biggest package. If you don't know what Follow Your Heart is, that's a vegan food brand. They sent me a package of like their cheeses and their sauces. I'm going to show you guys after I put all this stuff up. I got an avocado. Um, I have these tomatoes. I have a lime. You know, I use this for deodorant. I have some bananas. They're not ripe yet, but it's fine um, because I have some super ripe ones. I have two corn on the cobs because i'm making um mexican street corn elotes um i'm making them this week they'll be on my blog so i'm making that i have my favorite sorry the receipt was stuck to this guys i'm sorry um i have my favorite garlic and herb pizza crust because i'm making barbecue jackfruit pizza um it's so so good this is my favorite pizza crust to use for it the recipe for this is in my latest ebook simply shars special vegan treats and dishes or dishes and treats i forgot what i need my own freaking book sorry guys <laughs> um i got some conditioner this is not food but i need this for my hair i use this as a hair moisturizer and to condition my hair because i'm lazy and i'm cheap and this is only four dollars and it moisturized the heck out of my hair and the ingredients are super clean and it's cruelty free and vegan um i got some organic strawberries these was three dollars because strawberries is in season this month guys they're so ripe you can tell they're so red and um yeah so shop in season like i told you guys in the video make sure you buy in season produce do not splurge on produce that you don't have to i have some vegan butter because like i said i've been obsessed with um grilled cheeses lately because like i said they sent me so many cheeses follow your heart and they sent me their pesto veganese oh my god guys that on a grilled cheese is bomb but anyways i used vegan butter and i was out of it i usually get the soy free one but trader joe's never have the soy free one so i just got this one um it's no big deal I have some frozen mangoes because I love this in my smoothies and you guys know I'm big on smoothies. I have a head of cauliflower because um what the freak? Yeah, buffalo cauliflower. Duh! You guys know the drill. I have some white corn tortillas because I want to make quesadillas with the cheese I have. So yeah. As always, I have some green jackfruit because this is two dollars and it's so cheap. I got my mom some soy rezo because she likes to use this for um like breakfast for breakfast with breakfast potatoes or even for tacos and i have this oh my god guys i've been looking for this for so long this watermelon kombucha you guys know i love kombucha it's good for um balancing your gut health and your ph so yeah i got all of this for 40 dollars. but if you remove the conditioner um, I would guess this is like $35, $36. And these are, this is my groceries for the week. So like I said, veganism isn't expensive. I say this all the time. This is $35, $36. And this will last me for a whole week. And honestly, it's because like I got like breads and stuff. And honestly, it could have been cheaper if I didn't get the bread and the other stuff. Vegan butter, but it's fine. I needed it. So yeah, guys, I never really spend over $4 a week for like regular groceries to show you guys everything that follow your heart sent me they sent me the provolone slices their gouda slices and their pepper jack slices if you know me you know this is my favorite cheese to eat their cheese is the best it melts the best this is the best vegan cheese you can ever buy in your life 
and most of their slices are all like soy free and gluten free so it's super super good go grab these if you like them provolone is so good on toast they sent me their chipotle veganaise which i've never even seen in stores before ever in my life this is my favorite right now the pesto veganaise this on grilled cheese and on this on grilled cheeses is so good and then i have some vegan ranch this is i never had this before and then they sent me blue cheese too i never tried that either and this is what i'm really excited about the vegan honey mustard guys i've been looking for this for so long i'm super excited to try this and then they sent me the hugest vegan days and also they sent me two of their shreds which i'm gonna use on pizzas and stuff they sent me the cheddar and they sent me the mozzarella they sent me all this um again shout out to oscar and the rest of the follow your heart team i appreciate them so much for sending me this um little care package i love it so much and i'm so excited to try all the new stuff that i never tried before i'm currently chopping up the pineapple i'm about to put some in the smoothie now because i have two of the ripest bananas ever <laughs> um yeah i'm about to put some of this in the smoothie put the rest up in the fridge to snack on for the rest of the week Hey you guys, I made a smoothie. This is banana, pineapple, and chia seeds. You spray water because I don't like thick smoothies. Comment below if you like thick, thick smoothies. I do not like thick smoothies. I like water one time. I'm about to get my stainless steel straw, drink this, and relax for a bit. Guys, I wanted to show you my website because I don't know if you guys um seen it before. I'm pretty sure you guys probably have, but my website is like this. It's so pretty. These are my videos at the bottom. Hold on, let me pause this music because I don't. Georgia Smith's new album is fire, guys. Go listen to it. Anyways, <laughs> no, but I want to show you guys my website. I have my important, helpful YouTube videos down here. This is a grocery list. This isn't a YouTube video. This is a Whole Foods plant-based grocery list for when you go grocery shopping. Um, got a coffee talk for why black slash brown vegans are important and why we should go vegan as black slash brown people. Got tips on transitioning to being vegan. Got my favorite vegan substitutes like vegan meats, vegan cheeses, like sauces, stuff like that. Um, chicken causes hypertension and cancer. And then I have my, oops, sorry guys. I got my coffee talk on living in a food desert, being vegan, and how I survive. So, yeah. All my little videos is on my website. You can buy my ebooks on here. Like I told you guys, you click shop recipe ebooks. And it will take you to both of my ebooks. They're both ten dollars. So cool, right? Then you click this. Yep, you could buy both. And then my favorite part of my website is my recipe page. So my recipes. Um, you guys seen the Mother's Day brunch recipe video? But this blog has all the recipes on there. So the eggplant bacon, the the three ingredient pancakes and everything else is in there got the bang bang broccoli got both of my donuts i did recipe videos on on here i don't think i did a recipe video on the coffee cake ones i'm not 100 percent but i did a recipe actually i did i did i did um i got my buffalo cauliflower pizza recipe on here got my slutty brownies these are so yummy guys some of my favorite got my spicy chicken lasagna roll-ups um i made cajun shrimp and grits with the sausage you guys saw this on my last white eating day i believe i made some lemon shrimp scampi as well and then this is my grocery list and then i have my this is my favorite recipe on my website right now the sweet potato biscuit and fried cauliflower sandwich i got beetroot hummus on here as well and then we got some pesto pasta we have some sweet potato bread with cinnamon glaze and then the last one that i made last week was the red curry and mac and cheese with broccoli so then you always click read more and it takes you to the actual recipe so then you click read more boom it's cool 
yeah i've been working on this working on launching this um if you live in chicago i should be selling meals soon as well i'm trying to work on being able to ship meals like desserts and like lunches different things like that once my brand grow if you guys are interested in that if you don't live in chicago or you can't travel here to get any of my food when i do start selling it and also um what else i was going to say um i've been debating on creating merch so if you guys are interested in me having merch let me know because that's something i can do i already wanted to make stuff for myself personally and then once i make it i'll show you guys and then you can tell me if you like it or not or if you would like to have it for yourself and then i could just you know have it on my website to buy so yeah just wanted to show you guys my website i, I even share my story on why i became vegan um, on here and everything else because people always ask me that question so yeah it's a lot of different resources on here that's really, really nice to see you guys today is june 10th you know which is black liberation day because you know i don't really i don't celebrate fourth of july because my people was not free anyways i'm not thinking you guys a spill you can look up juneteenth on your own time but anyways celebrate i'm making my sweet potato and mushroom burgers i'm super super excited to make these um, I usually add lentils last time, but that made it too mushy, so I think I'm going to remove that, and then these should be way more firm. So yeah, I'm about to peel these, and then cook them in the pot, boil them, dice them up, boil them for like 20, 25 minutes, and then yeah, I'm going to show you guys the finished result once I'm done. The sweet potato patties, and I'm going to put it on a multi-week bun i melted some follow your heart provolone cheese added some veganese some lettuce tomato and sliced avocado and amy's ketchup these are how the regular patties look so nice this recipe will be on my blog i will link it below once you see this video it will be on my blog and i made some lemon pepper fries as well um i don't know if this is the last meal i will have but if so I mean, if not, then I would talk to you guys after. I've been listening to Trey songs, old songs. Like, Fumble is my shit, Slow Motion, and Honey. I've been slam, I've been jamming, alright? Guys, I'm about to snack on some of these and call it a night. Thank you for watching my What to Eat in a Day. Hope you guys enjoy. Let me know what you want to see next comment like and subscribe and i will talk to you guys later bye